As the editor of the International Journal of Advertising, you certainly have your finger on the pulse of what's going on in advertising and media communications worldwide. What would you think are two or three things going on in worldwide media that practitioners and others might need to be aware of? Yeah, I'll mention two that I think are especially important. First, of course, is the growth of digital media, um, which is, is clearly growing in South Africa with virtually everybody having a cell phone or close to it now. Um, but we're at the point in the United States where digital media, um, you know, advertising on the internet and social media is on a par with television advertising, and it's exploded. And in S South Africa, that's been a more recent development, but it's starting to move that way. You can see it in the expenditure uh, figures, and I think we can expect it to move more that way. So I think it's important for the businesses here to expect that and to be looking into what works but particularly be, to be looking into what works in South Africa and what may be unique. And, and a second and related trend is that media is just a much more cluttered environment than it used to be. There's so many television channels, so many newspapers, so many outlets that there's been a global trend towards more customization of messages. And it's fascinating to me to look at what works in, in um, emerging markets, many of which like South Africa, are more collectivistic that certainly than the United States, um, but then, but but compared to you know many of the most economically developed advertising markets. Have you watched the presentations of South Africans in this conference mm -hmm. and the kind of things they're doing? There's this huge d divergence, you mm -hmm. know, this huge uh, uh, bipolarity or, or, or you know rich versus poor uh, mm -hmm. distinction. How does that impact on advertising and, and communications? You know, I, I, I do see here a much emphasis on societal welfare. And, and one, one irony is that like much of the rest of the world, there, there are four giant global holding companies in advertising that dominate the world market. And from the statistics I've seen, are pretty dominant in South Africa as well. But I, I would suggest that these global conglomerates could learn very much from the South Africans that they employ about effective advertising in South Africa. And I think especially in mobile, um, and we're, I think with South Africans, we're talking much more about mobile phones than, you know, than, than desktop computers. Um, that local market insight is, is really critical and really knowledgeable. And I, I, and I do think most of us in the rest of the world think of South Africa as a wonderful entry point into um, Africa. You know, a lot, of, a lot of that reputation is led by the banking sector, um, but there's no reason why that couldn't be the case from a marketing perspective as well. Do you think that in terms of our advertising research in South Africa, we can play some kind of important role in developing knowledge in that area? Going forward, these, I can't sit in the United States and develop deep insights about South African consumers in the way that somebody has grown up in this culture. And it, for the own competitive advantage of my journal, I'm really looking towards getting more papers from emerging markets and more different insights that then can be integrated back into how you do successful global marketing. So I, I think the, the amount of contribution that can be made is enormous, and but being here, I'm you know I'm not sure that that the South African scholars always um, realize that. A lot of times they seem focused on well, I want to make sure I'm doing the methodology, you know, as much as I as well as I can, and they're usually doing it very well from my standpoint. But some of these deep insights into the culture are what uh, what I think we need more than anything. You, as a team, came back and said that we were maybe replicating research from high-income countries a bit more than we should and maybe if we recognize we were in a learning laboratory we might be doing much more novel impactful research. I, I very much think that makes sense and it, some of it revolves around the need for qualitative research and getting these de the, this depth um, of insight but yeah, like a, a real important topic right now is marketing to millennials. And in, in the United States, interestingly enough, the conventional wisdom among practitioners is that millennials in the U.S. care more about social responsibility. Well, I'd be really interested in research on uh, millennials in, in South Africa and other African markets and how much they care about so corporate social responsibility. The advertising industry is under intense pressure 
to deliver return on investment and more so to measure return on investment. It's chief financial officers now often say, well, we're not going to give you the budget unless you prove the output. And when you think about it, um, well, it might not always be possible to develop perfect measures of sales impact or something like this. You can develop pretty darn good measures. And I think programs like this, which as you know, Steve, there's parallels in the United States you know, for um, you know, empowerment programs for, uh, for minorities who are entrepreneurs, you know, for example. And I, th I think there's a general sense that some of them have been successful but there's been some cases that have been problematic too. And, and monitoring what works, I think, is critically important. Then you can, just, you can allocate those funds more efficiently, and those that really should be winning you know, end up winning in that case. We have a master's in management and strategic marketing degree, which is unique in South Africa. And you mentioned modeling and models, and there's this notion of statistical models that are being used more and more in the Walmarts and Amazons and whatever. Should advertising practitioners be looking at this kind of thing? Uh, and, and I mean, is it really, are people really applying these models in business around the world? I think more schools um, should offer this type of degree. Even in, you know, most other disciplines in business have very specialized programs. It's, it's a little less common in marketing, but strategic marketing is especially important right now because building brands is paramount. And in many ways, you know, one other trend in the ad industry is the traditional agencies in the states are really getting worried because the strategic components of their job, and some of this involves like good ROI measurement, um, can be done by traditional management consulting firms with people who have marketing degrees, but go to these elite firms and are very good at planning you know, strategy for building brands. So if ad agencies have personnel that are more focused on the creative or they let it slip a little bit, they can lose business to the McKinsey's and Boston Consulting Group. And I've talked to a few industry people have told me that the same thing's happening in South Africa that we're seeing That's in right. the States, yeah. yeah. Your contributions have helped South African students. In fact, we've had students as far away as Mexico and Pakistan and all of, all of Africa. Mm -hmm.